So you go into any yoga class in the West and it is full of women. And it's so ironic. Women were never ever part of a yoga tradition at all. Right up until the early 20th century to be a woman practitioner of yoga, you actually had to leave your family. Women are included in a list of obstacles, things like filthy water, rotten food, that men would want to avoid. So many female teachers now is really wonderful for women especially because a woman knows how a woman feels. When women come together and you let go of the judgment and you just be together as women and breathe together as women, uh, truths come out. Ritual happens. Connection. In daily life, we are being pulled out of ourselves all the time. One in five women will be depressed over their lifetime. Half of women in the U.S. are on a diet. 25 million with compulsive overeating. Why is this so? Why have we bought into this madness? We're in a crisis. Yoga is one of the most politically subversive practices that any person, male or female, could do in our time. It's our obligation to teach other women, to teach young girls, to teach our mothers so that the ripple effects of the power of yoga reverberate throughout the world. From the busy streets of Manhattan to the dusty slums of Kenya, Yoga Woman, uncovering a global phenomenon that has changed the face of yoga forever. That is a revolution.